I fall down the stairs and I'm like, oh, I broke my shin. I'm so wet. That's like, a I don't fucking care. life alert like, commercial. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm falling and I oh, can't get up. Dot, 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 step bro. Mr. Michael Blaustein on tour yelling about feet where I will tell you. Denver sold out. I love you guys. October 20th, I will be in Honolulu, Hawaii. Tickets still available. Go get those. That's coming October- up. It is. Nice. It is. Dude, I'm excited. I've never been to Hawaii. Very, very excited. Uh, I'm going to get laid out there. All right, I'm done comedy. October 27th to 29th, I'll be in Portland, Oregon. Those tickets are going fast, so please go grab those. November 2nd, Houston, Texas. It's almost, it's pretty much sold out, but go get tickets. November 3rd, Dallas. I love you. It, the show's already sold out. November 16th, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Go get tickets. Um, November 18th to the 19th, Louisville, Kentucky. And then January 5th to the 7th, I will be in San Diego, California. California. The rest of 2023 dates are coming very soon. Go get tickets, blowcomedy.com, blowcomedy.com. Mr. Wallace, tell the family where you're going to be. I'll tell them where I'm going to be. San Francisco this weekend. We added some new tickets to the Saturday show. Uh. A few left for Friday this weekend. Friday the 14th, October the 15th. Uh, it's Saturday. San Francisco, very clean city. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Houston, Texas, full weekend, November 4th through the 6th. It's Friday through Sunday. Five shows, November 4th through the 6th. Houston, Texas, my only Texas date as of now. Grand Rapids, Michigan, November 11th. Indianapolis, November 12th. Cleveland, Ohio, November 13th. Salt Lake City. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, November 18th. One show, turn up. Boulder, Colorado, December 8th. Fort Collins, Colorado, December 9th. Gabe, Gabe, scroll faster. <laughs> Oklahoma City, December 10th. Tulsa, Oklahoma, December 11th. New Haven, Connecticut, December 16th. Atlantic City, December 17th. Red Bank, New Jersey, December 18th. And then the rescheduled dates of Fort Lauderdale, Charleston, and Asheville are going to be January 27th, 28th, 29th. TrevorWallsComedy.com. I love you. Phoenix, what a blast. Thank you for pulling up last weekend. One of my favorite shows. I, I maybe ever so fun. I love you. TrevorWallsComedy.com. We're in. We're talking about John Taffer, bitch. Listen. We out here. <laughs> Listen. We have Canada today. I mean, this is the big. This is big for us. This Happy, is big for you. Yeah. I'm sorry. You need to set higher goals. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why? Why do you think that? I think no. people love you. Well, We're one of you. them. We thank love you. you. I, I love, love you. you. I love you guys. Let's make out. Hey. All right, guys. That's been another episode oh, of Stiff Socks. HR. I mean, I'm so excited. I you're you are everywhere. I mean, like I every time I like open my phone and you're like with paparazzi. I don't That's know. That's really the goal. Honestly, How does so paparazzi you. work? Why have I every time I get out of LAX and I wait for my Uber, I'm always like, oh, is there one today? <laughs> or you go to Nobu and Malibu I and I see say. the camera guys and I'm like. <clears throat> like right here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello. Hey. Or like very clearly big. Which one is my car? You right. guys good? You guys good? Right, pointing at the Lamborghini. You're like, that's mine. Oh yeah. I'm just um, clicking. Uh, I think it's a 50, the key. 50 thing, right? You know, like sometimes like people call them. I call them. You know what I mean? If I, I look good, I I'm that. calling them. You know no. what I mean? Do you ever do that to make that. like somebody jealous? What? Do you ever do that to make somebody jealous? You're like, like I look good tonight. Let me get some paparazzi oh, photos going. I have definitely I've done it worse, I think. Like oh, in a breakup. It's please. like we broke up the next day. I'm like with another guy. I'm like no smart no but i i was such a cunt for that and now my ex will never take me back honestly it was so stupid i got paparazzi <laughs> with harry jowsey to harry. make my ex-boyfriend <laughs> jealous harry's hot harry's and hot as shit. Oh, he's coming on like next week or really? two weeks i love harry he's We're... hot if only you could hear his australian accent in the paparazzi photos for sure Makes he's, it even he's a beautiful man i'm shooting a Baywatch themed shoot with him this weekend. I'm so what excited. website is what going is on? Does this? it start with only it's, and end with fans? It Has does. To. Start, it does. It's gonna go there. Yeah, we're gonna make some porn on a beach. It's gonna be so fun. Hold on. Does he have? He has a crazy does OnlyFans. He? I swear to God, it does. He fucks. He fucks too, Harry. I hate that I'm saying this. I'm giving you so many sales over me, but yeah, yeah Harry's crazy. He's sex on, so, tapes whole nine. So Harry, what? Yeah, Mister Jowison. Hold on, Jowison. Where, Mister Jowie? Is he packing? Is he packing? Here? I actually have never shot done. Great media trained answer. No, I no, have I, never I would seen this package. I would tell you if I hit, I would be so honest. I've never done my due diligence and researched Harry Jowsey's cock, and I've never seen it. You so I don't ne- know. Well, really? Yeah. We got a I podcast producer like, with a camera and a laptop. You know. is, you it a, friends? Yeah, is it a simple yeah. Google, or is it like locked behind? It's pro- hopefully he's smart enough that it's locked behind a paywall. But people are leaking them. People be leaking them. That is fair. Yeah, that's like one of my weekly stressors. I'm like, what's getting leaked? But is it good or bad if it gets leaked? I think it's great. I think it's great. A lot of people hate it because they want to really make the money on it and remain like more brand safe, you know, because once Mm. it's getting leaked and it's out, it's like that kind of becomes a part of your persona. But I'm like, look at this. Imagine what is for sale. Like, I I love it. Was there a point where you said, like, 
all right, fuck it. I'm just going to do everything I want to do and not worry about like, oh, can I cuss in YouTube videos or really yeah, like brand safety? Yeah, came out of the safety? womb like that. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Because I feel like you never were censored. Ever. I mean, now I've like learned how to not be just like a dumb, impulsive asshole. I'm still a dumb, impulsive asshole, but just at a minimum. You can turn um, it on and off. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. I, I try Put to it think it's all like calculated. Mode. I'm saying this now, but I'm going to be in like a massive scandal in December and I'll just look so stupid here. Is, but. Are, are we putting that on the vision board? December? No, what are we actually thinking? this TikTok psychic made a TikTok. The fact that we Wait, live in an we era where that's on, we, have we have a psychic coming in after this. This Do is you? so, yes. yes. Oh my God. That's so fun. I love it. Bring her in. When's the Bring. scandal? Um, they said I was going to have a scandal in December. Why? Did, did, did were you they ask? specific? No, they were just like, December's going to be a turbulent month for her. So then I reached out <laughs> and I was fuck? like, I reached Fire out. Fire lady. Right. No, never hired. It was like random. I reached out and I was like, how can I not have a turbulent December? You reached back out to her? Yes. I, I like reached out and then they were like, write that you're going to have a peaceful December on a paper and like burn it over a candle or something. So I and need to do that And how much did you pay week. for you that advice? <laughs> no, I'm just like, She told you that and you're like, we'll see about I know, that. seriously. So I'd then, like to ask a question. How much did you pay for that advice that's totally made up? Which crap no, is not I didn't. I didn't. They were you just paid zero dollars. Like, yeah, like you I reached just, back on. They gave you a free thing. They no, read on the bottom of a Snapple. It was just like, literally like yeah. a, for, a Panda Express cookie. 100%. Um, no, so I just good. saw them make a video about like Billie Eilish, and then I commented like <laughs> "Do me," and then they did me, and then I reached out because it wasn't really what I wanted to hear. So. That yeah, would be an was, OnlyFans yeah. that I would watch. What? A naked psychic and someone else naked. They do the reading, then they fuck. I think you'd You're watch anything naked. That, no, I'm serious because because <laughs> then it's like anything <laughs> naked. No, because no, it's like it's like hot ones, but with 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 black magic, and then there's cum at the end. What's I, that wrong with sense that? was a lot to unpack. Duly noted, honestly. And but you someone out I'm there, someone out there is probably doing that. But Literally, there's probably yeah. someone right now naked with a crystal ball doing that. I feel oh, like fans for everything. everything in the everything. Midwest. There's people playing like cornhole and they're naked. And guys are like, yeah, what if that was my hole? Like, there's all <laughs> types of dude playing playing cornhole with pussy as opposed to the actual that that like the, the pussy is the hole is the hole. That's yeah. fun. You guys may should just like run my creative direction for OnlyFans for a month. It'd be a fun month. Good. We'll take twenty three percent. A creative director for it? Not really. I have a team of people who I like bounce ideas. I have an off idea. Of Power okay. Rangers. I think I've done that. I have that's, done that. Yeah, I love the word. <laughs> what, I love the word. I think I was uh, the pink one. Well, I was actually a pink Power Ranger back in the day for some, like a random project. That's and it, hot. People associate me with being like a pink Power Ranger. So then that's I. That's like, what I thought when I first a, met you. Hundred percent. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I did it. I did it slutty last year. I don't know. It's so embarrassing. Like, why were you a slutty pink Power Ranger, Dana? Is there any other kind? Um, if you had a pink Power Ranger, you have to be slutty. I think that's what I, she had. Sex appeal. It's a bit misogynistic, don't you think? Like you don't. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just Whoa! No, you're taking. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, I see what you're doing. You're taking your December cancellation and throwing it on Michael over here. No, yeah, you're no, like, Michael. I'm not getting it. You're getting the scandal. <laughs> what is the psychic? I need to bird something. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> they, <laughs> was there anything positive about the psychic? Like. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I don't remember. It was like she needs to trust the people around her. They're all shady. And like, then someone stole a thousand dollars from me uh -oh. and my friend group. So, a thousand dollars? Yeah, I got robbed. You did? Yeah. For a thousand dollars? It's not it's like not a, enough. <laughs> it's not enough She'll to go, go to jail, jail for a thousand dollars? What are you going to buy? A Take MacBook a Air? What not are you out doing? Of touch rich influencer <laughs> saying a thousand dollars isn't a lot of money. I mean, it's still <laughs> money. <laughs> but but to like, go to if you're going to risk it, Right, Take the G-Wagon. Total it. That's why I think risk it's so it funny when you like rob a bodega. You're like, what are you, $17 and a cat? What the f What are you doing? 100%. <laughs> the you cat is held ransom. Yeah. <laughs> bodega cats are very wholesome. I always Yeah, they sleep on bread a lot. It's hot. Love that for them. Me too. Yeah. So can we talk about your Starbucks order? I, mean, I knew I, you it's were going to so I, I mean, I, I just want to read this to you because it sounds like I'm taking role attendance here. Uh, <laughs> what do we got here? It's a... A venti iced chai tea latte, oat milk, double espresso, seven pumps of chai, two pumps pumpkin sauce. Not even sauce, just sauce. I didn't know they had pumpkin <laughs> sauce. That's not real. Not, it's just a sauce. But it, you want to try it? Yeah, I would love to. It's delicious. And this is how Trevor gets HPV. <laughs> Already had it. <laughs> Thank God, that's my type. It does taste. Let me have some of that, please. Phenomenal. It it. Feels joyous. It feels like you're drinking a fall candle. Like you burn the right. fall candle and you're just chugging Fuck, dude. it. I wanted to hate this so much, but it's absolutely I like delicious. I just walked but into I my mother's say, home and she was baking all day. I, w I will <laughs> tell you, like, it's not something I order every time. It's like when I'm feeling like I want to be just an asshole. <laughs> that's, I get that's that. So you had it right before the <laughs> show? <laughs> no, I, but I that's, her, was craving it today. that's her <laughs> testing us to see if we can deliver. What was the band that did like the M&Ms a certain color? Oh my God, oh, that's oh, so yeah. funny. So many Is that real? 
People yeah. having like fucked up tour writers. Yeah, yeah. I know that's real, yeah. but the, the M&M thing, they were like only red M&Ms and that was the thing if I they read people... to the bottom or but whatever. But that was Tana doing that to us to be like, how much do they care about me? As I really, parents? I promise you, as I was saying it, I was like, fuck, should I just get like a vanilla latte? This is so embarrassing. I had the thought, but I really wanted it. And then you looked it. in the mirror really and you're good. like, you I'm that to... bitch. And then you're like, here, list, follow it. <laughs> Can I ask you, how did, how did you get to that? Because that's a lot of trial and error. That it is. really is. I started with the chai with the oat milk, not enough energy energy had to add the espresso then Got the espresso it. didn't balance out with the amount of chai that was already in there so we had to add a little more chai then the fall season came around and it was like pumpkin spice could add be fun in there in it. i'm not gonna lie i could have added extra ice as well but i just thought i would can i ask you this because the ice person because the espresso shots melt Melted. the ice i get it so a lot of times it's like do you yeah. <laughs> side hustle or own Going a Starbucks down. or something like the knowing I of wish. that level is genius I wish um no I just I love my coffee honestly. I'd like to ask a cool question you were talking about pumpkin spice and it's about to be it's, it's the fall ish what is it about fall and pumpkin that just makes women wet honestly it's just like pumpkin spice satisfies me and delivers <laughs> to me far more than most men do you know i can always count on pumpkin put that spice. on a forever 21 t-shirt i mean that was good <laughs> that was pumpkin spice satisfies me more than any man uh, it's it's just reliable but but this this that like do you have pumpkin do you but have you, fall type related all year round or is it like fuck no, yeah fall's coming it's, out it's, let's it's do it's it. about the season because it's kind of like I feel like October comes around. Seasonal depression is a thing. Word. You know, it's getting colder. Today it was gloomy out. It's yeah. like it was gloomy. It's dark at like four p.m. Right. If this pumpkin spice can stop me from killing myself, I might as well fucking have some, another you know? great yes. Forever Twenty One T-shirt Thank right you. there. That's what I was thinking. Uh, also, pumpkin spice delicious. Pumpkin in general trash. Like you ever you carve a pumpkin, the inside feels like a cold flesh. Like get me out of here. It's one of the worst it's things. The worst. And or like, you can even terrible. pumpkin pie. It just gives like baby food to me. It does. No, I have to drown it in like Cool Whip. And I'll oh, do yeah. it for the for the bit, you know. But no, right, right. I'm a big pumpkin uh, pie guy. I'm not I really. Am. I'm not even a good pie guy, well, but I'm a big pumpkin. There's something about you that does give that. Like, yeah, I understand. There's a lot of like in a good way. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a good way to be a pumpkin pie guy? 100. Yeah. Yeah. It's wholesome. It's wholesome. Pumpkin pie. Okay. Well, it's like you something you'd me. see on a hinge <laughs> prompt. <laughs> uh, I, right, right, right. Okay, so you're not. A, you've tried pumpkin pie. You're out. I'm not how it's just like i'm never like oh my god i need this I, pumpkin spice really does it for me but. i've never yearned for a pumpkin pie but if you if you have it and <laughs> the most it, mature thing you've ever said on the show i've never yearned for a pumpkin <laughs> pie because, because you're, because it's, yeah it doesn't it doesn't like do it for me like a mo but I'm like, a creme brulee I, I, bitch and i just realized that the I crunchy mean, like, or what's and the, it's just you feel rich as fuck or oh, oh you yeah. crack it in big dick to just order. eat the top Can even the ordering it. yeah like, oh, yeah i know say all the vowels in it the creme brulee yeah it's so good dude i'll kill an orphan for one of those it's fucking it's fire that's I would kill an orphan in general. No, I'm just, just in general. <laughs> All right, orphan too. Not even just like a happy child, like a fucking no. right. But well, maybe you're taking them out of their misery. I was gonna body. say yeah. they are. They are in a position where they're like, "I right, take me home." I'm kidding. Shout out to the orphans out there. I, I see that being a, a path of my life one day, like Angelina Jolieing it and just adopting a like bunch? ten orphans. Yeah. Honestly, I would do it, but I want them to be like 24. Yeah, so we can go to Buffalo Wild Wings together. You know, get, get the gang going. Also, if you can, you can drive in the carpool lane and it's not weird. You can also skip all the bad shit. Yeah, like you know. all the training you have to teach them how to shit and all that kind of. It's over. You get them at like eleven. Great. Right, just but, enough trauma where it's spicy. Yeah, but 11's you know? enough yeah. where they can like open, they can lock pick your door and beat your ass at night. <laughs> Which one? If they're 11, that's like a full grown. If you get your ass beat at 11, you have a, <laughs> you have a problem. I, You're eating too much creme brulee. I'm a frail man. I have a scarecrow body. I could get my ass beat. I feel like you, you're bigger than you think you are. Dude, by the way, that you're- That was very nice of you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, man. I'll kiss you right now. The the um, the um beefy picture you had in college, which we need to show you, the I beefy picture in college- it. Oh, I was just on creatine what in college. Were you kind of happy? That, was he better beefy? Like or, no, no, God, no. I look like a, a no, no. thumb with too much sodium. I did yeah, not look worse. good. That's like yeah, my I least did, favorite type of I'd guy. have a jawline until like three years ago, maybe. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Thank huge. you. Me too, but because of filler. But um, <sighs> Shout out to I, filler, dude. Shout out to filler. Um, what was I going to say to you? Are you happy that it's like now it's like trendy to be like a skinny like guy, like the Pete Davidson era. Like you feel like you're I'm getting more pussy than ever. I'm not depressed enough to be that hot. I need bigger bags under my eyes for that. Damn, I thought we had something going. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm so what, depressed. What are you doing tonight at eight? <laughs> uh, I'll see you at Nobu, right. the are Malibu you, one. Are you really into that though? For what? What is your what is your ideal guy? If you could that, if you could build him from scratch, I want you to depressed. look like you eat cigarettes. I want you to look like you your frequent spot is a gas station. I want under eye bags. Why? Because, you, because you bonus feel like points with Lyme disease. So, like every producer, <laughs> <laughs> tell 
that's a specific yeah. one. You want to rescue no, this not. man. No, you're not, though. <laughs> I'm not out here looking for Lyme disease patients. I'm really not. Tattoos as well. Bonus points if face. Do um, you feel like you just... tattoo. I have a problem. Seriously, up here. Let me ask no, you. No, you don't. Because maybe you know, if I had like a father. Here's the I thing. I'm seeing a, a pattern. You know exactly what type of drink you want. You know exactly what type of man you want. You know you're locked in. Honestly, you just turned so much fucked up shit about me into an amazing sentiment, so I'll take it. Yes, yeah, I was That's I was about what? to go the Like exact maybe I'm just opposite. a prissy bitch with daddy issues, but like no, I, I know what I want. Another great Forever 21 t-shirt. God damn. Whoa, it's 2022. Do you want to get rock hard? I already am. Whoa. Why? Guess why? I took blue chew this morning. You did. Chewed it up. Dude, you're just taking it, just walk around. I'm just bored. Just just fucking hitting pistachios off it. Somebody might hit on me. Good. Yeah. How so, do I get it though? Well, 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 what is, what is it? it? What is it? Tell How me. How do I get it? I know you want that. And everybody who listens, they're like, oh, give me the promo code already. But we should tell you, uh, it is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, yep. but in a chewable tablet format and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night. So, you, can, so you know, you can plan ahead or be ready when the opportunity arises. You know what else arises? Your what? cock. Look, ladies and gentlemen, you're what? like, oh, I don't I'm, you, you could be like, oh, I'm young. I fucking get rocked up easy. I get rocked up if it's too windy. I, I get I rocked you. up if I see a squirrel. That's just me? All right, but y'all don't have to worry about the round, round one. Two. We're talking about round two, dude. Round two. Round two is really where it's at. Because round one, you know, you run your, you run, you hit the lap once, and you're yeah. like, oh, that was good, that was fast. Yep. But then you're like, let's go for a trot round two. Whoa. Power walk, power and, cock. And we have the nas for that cock for round two. Blue chew. Blue, Blue chew. chew. You chew. Chew it up. Well, and so, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I got nothing. Yeah. I, all right. Well, I have so much, but it's Bluetooth. We love it. Yeah, that. we got them. But essentially, you don't have to go to a doctor. You don't have to wait in like a CVS. You don't nope. have to talk to some old lady who's like, well, my husband's penis hasn't. No, fuck all that. You just literally, they ship it to you for free. They For free. Well, you do pay for the shipping. It's just $5, yeah. but you get your first month for free. For free. All you have For to free. do is go to bluechew.com and use promo code SOCKS to receive that first free month. And uh, you just pay $5 for shipping. $5 for shipping. So That's it. easy. Bluechew.com yeah. promo code SOCKS for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. God damn. Ship Station. Robots. That's our new Robots in Disguise. Yep. That's our new thing. Well, you know what? What's going on, man? This is really the best time to prepare for growth is yep. before the opportunity arises, especially for online businesses. The ship station sets you up for growth. Ayo, everybody needs growth, not me. Not personally you. speaking. I've seen it. Um, ship station sets you up for growth by directly integrating with every shopping cart and storefront so your products are easier to find, easier to manage, and easier to get into the hands of happy customers. Don't wait until you're drowning in orders to find the right shipping solution. Upgrade to ShipStation today. Whether you're starting a small business or scaling up, ShipStation makes ship happen, dude. No more limiting your business to one store. ShipStation integrates with every platform, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, etc. Maximize your sales with minimal effort, dude. Save time with consolidated order management and automated shipping upgrades for your customers. Dude, join over 130,000 companies who have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. Dude, we sell merch. Obviously, you guys bought it because you're awesome and we use ShipStation all the time to help us manage our orders and get incredible rates on shipping. So, go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with promo code SOCKS for a free 60-day trial. Dude, uh, start today and set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit free. ShipStation. Dot com. Click the microphone at the top and type in socks. That's two months free. Visit shipstation.com. Click the microphone at the top and type in socks. God damn. But 100%. I think you know, <laughs> but you're somebody who knows what you want. What's beautiful. The last thing you want is you ask a guy, every TikTok video is like, what's your ideal woman? Or what's your ideal man? You would have just like, this is the person. Like a scroll. Me, I'd be yeah. like, well, uh, maybe like one blue eye, one brown eye. <laughs> That's hot. That's little underrated. Little bit of ass. Yeah. Underrated. underrated. The two different color eye. It's weird to look up because I feel like they're taking my soul, but it's hot. In I know me. it's hot. It's it definitely is. hot. Yeah. It's one thing I've never done, hooked up with someone with two different color eyes. Well, let's I'll change that. Guys, reach but out. what if it was one was a contact? I'd feel like I got scammed. I hate it. But one was a contact's kind of embarrassing. Uh, hilarious. That's uh, who's that kid? Oh, I'm just talking shit about someone for do no it, fucking fuck reason. Do it. Who cares? He's Sarah's on too hot corner. to handle. Chase Do you people's, know who that is? Wait. Is, and it, people he's say like light skin, like super hot. He like wears the blue contacts, and they're like blue piercing. contacts is a problem. Like, and it's That's, just like he looks so much better with the brown eyes. I always, I just, it's funny. I'll go. I, and it wholesome. <laughs> and I thought you were gonna keep diving into him. No, I. I mean. 
So, so you, why why don't you feel like you deserve more than what you just spit out in terms of making your ideal man? Because I mean? feel like that because I feel like that type of man is not going to really take you, give you like the long distance of a relationship. What do you mean? They're going to die of a heroin overdose beyond an Exxon in three months. Oh, God, but I, what and, a great I'm, three I'm months I'm fine with that. What's, what the fuck is wrong but, with but, me? But I'm, I'm actually not fine with that. Not going with all my exes. Seriously, <laughs> be good. Don't do that. Um, no, I mean that doesn't define their personality. Look at like like a Pete Davidson type. He looks like he's dying, but he's a sweet guy he's funny you know what i mean eats his vegetables it's exactly lives with his mom there's a balance there guys he does not eat his vegetables i don't care what you say there's no way he's eating corn on the cob are those vegetables i would pay uh, such an ungodly amount of money there to see is someone Davidson there. eat corn on the cob it's actually sad well so get him on the phone what, right. so on yeah. the cob or cut on the cob i love corn on the cob it's an so underrated good. food great but it gets in your right. teeth but i think it's worth it it's so worth yeah. it yeah how do you feel when you, when you see people cutting it off before they do it? Cheating the system. I just done. don't like it. I don't want to eat corn with a spoon. I think, yeah, I want the experience. You got to be in it. You know? You got to be in it. Yeah. Do you go butter, salt, and pepper? So much butter, so much Have salt and pepper. Have to. Now I want that oh, yes, from sir. Chili's. Oh, my God. Are you guys big Chili's people? I love, I'm a big, he loves thing. chain restaurants. I'm like, so a big do I. chain person. Like a hundred dollar steak or a sirloin tips from IHOP for breakfast. No He's question. IHOP tips. No really? question. I'm, IHOP? I'm a whore for a chain restaurant. I am a I like a good middle ground. Like, fuck face. Nobu Malibu or Outback Steakhouse, Outback. the Bloomin' Onion. I'm busting it open. I want fucking Outback. I Bloomin' like Onion it. does make me feel right. right. It feels like everything is okay in the Midwest, you Sincerely, know? Sincerely. Everything is at peace. It's a, that brown bread from Cheesecake Factory. Oh, I'm so Cheesecake Factory. Craig's LA is never going to do that. No. And we have to just accept that. Here's the problem because the 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 chain restaurants they know what they are. Yeah. And that's what I like about it. The nobu and all the places like eh, fucking eh, I don't need ambiance. <laughs> I don't need ambiance. I don't need a fucking harp in the corner. Literally. Fuck that. Like, I want a baby ambiance. crying. I want a Karen screaming at the front yes. desk. I want to I want a menu that's minutes. as tall as my son. I mean, yeah. let's go, Cheesecake Gum Factory. under yeah. the fucking table. I, I want, want someone's o- gum to touch my knee. I want to order a pasta <laughs> that there's probably <laughs> semen in. Who cares? It's just I mean, I'm a sucker for some PF Chang's. That's bougie. <gasps> I mean, that's like that's like bougie level of the chain restaurant. Oh yeah, growing up it was like we didn't go to PF a horse out front. That shit. I mean, the statue they have out front Shit's is just a flex in Denny's. general. That's true. Where are yeah. you from? I hate to make give you an original question, but where are you from? Oh, you're fine. Um, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Eh, which never says heard a lot of about it. Right? everything. <laughs> makes says, sense. It says a lot about me. Yeah, I, mean, I love Vegas. It's a very one night city, though. You go, you fuck yeah, up your life. Imagine one for life 20... there. <laughs> so traumatizing, seriously. <laughs> wow. I mean, um, so this has just been who you are forever, which is beautiful. And I, like, I imagine, think that's why people relate to you. It's authentic. It's you. It's not you doing a character oh, of somebody. Oh, yeah. If I could have grown up in like South Carolina, I totally would have. You know what I mean? But I just came out on the strip. Um, <laughs> I feel like the way that you feel during that one night in Vegas and that like next day yeah. is how I felt my entire life living there oh, at God. a constant state. It's Were you like strip? Pure anxiety. Like a strip? Was strip? I a 15-year-old stripper? Oh, I well, think we were you a stripper. <laughs> no. And then you threw in the word 15, and now everything got weird. And now December's looking like we're all wrangled in this. I think we okay? got to burn this studio. Fuck yeah, a piece yeah. of paper. We're going to be talking on Psychic tonight. <laughs> like, how is our December looking? Let's Seriously. be honest. Just show her this episode. Be like, should we release this? <laughs> Perfect. Um, that's fair. Um, so my question was not that. My question was, <laughs> you came out of your mom's vagina in like the strip. I did what, do that. The strip, or were you like outside of Vegas? Yeah, at the mind. Hooters oh. Hotel. Bring it back. Yeah, no, she RP. actually just birthed me in Caesar's Palace. No, um, oh, great place. Be born no i mean i was i was born probably like 15 20 minutes from the strip but the thing okay. with vegas is everything's kind of 20 minutes from the strip got it so it's not like you can really live anywhere out there and not be like far from it you know what i mean how old were you when you lost your virginity great question thank you um great segue as I've well mother's this. vagina your vagina i yeah. got um, it full universe <laughs> yeah full this, circle. Is, this is what this show is it's 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 brown bread uh strip corn on the cob stripper yeah. corn on the cob where'd you lose virginity 100 i was uh 15 maybe 14 it was actually very wholesome it was after a concert with a guy that was like way too good for me what oh. concert? really good guy um it was a chance the rapper concert oh wow that's yeah. great that- Shut up, chance. No, like candles, whole thing. Oh, I was poor as fuck. He had money. I was up. Everything after that, downhill. Seriously. <laughs> great moment, though. You peaked and then- Yeah, the... we're great friends to this day. Like, Seriously. Interesting. Yeah, love him. Was it- great How guy. was it? Did he did he bang your back? We ended up fucking for like a like a year. Like I, I kept it. That same oh, no. session. A year. <laughs> this guy's a genius. <laughs> You're like I'm so hungry. Yeah. My parking's expired. This is going on too long. There's no brown bread. 
I miss Thanksgiving. <laughs> what about the Thanksgiving candles? Oh, you're okay. funny. You're a funny guy. Thank you, Tana. Um, you know how I found out about you? <laughs> Please, how my did you? Stroke my oldest assistant. Ego. Um, it was like it was like at least probably like four years ago. My old assistant mm -hmm. was just <laughs> ungodly obsessed with you. She had the biggest crush on you, absolutely ever. So you were like a send a DM. You were she did she did and you responded. <laughs> I remember the day. Oh, um, oh I know. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, yeah. No, All but right. just know that day when you responded, like we were taking shots. Like we were so happy because for her. of that. Yeah, like we were Aww. so happy for her. It was very cute. Wow. Um, and I was with her yesterday. Actually, we were like so great friends. And she was like, "Yeah, he's too cool for me now." Like I'm just like, I get it. Like the the window passed. <laughs> like she was like so like so <laughs> windows <laughs> open. What are we talking about? <laughs> it's like, Let's oh make this happen. Um. So yeah, I've known about you forever. You were wow. a killer. That's awesome. Yeah, I feel like I was just, you were already on YouTube before I even like started really making stuff on there. You were just Where like a staple in the game. Up? Like 2017 was when video started to like pick like up. Like Vine, TikTok, Instagram? Uh, YouTube. YouTube was first. Oh, really? Yeah, YouTube. And oh, I oddly, think I like that. Facebook had some shit going on. I had a few Slave Vines. Facebook. Wasn't that Facebook that the first one? Facebook was the first thing that popped, then YouTube started right? to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Has anyone ever told you guys that you kind of give Cody and Noel energy? We those are great guys. They were yeah, on we here a while. Like ago. you give Noel a lot. They're so funny. That's so awesome. you're saying oh, so inadvertently you give Cody, but like Let's he really gives Noel. Let's fucking go. Dude. <laughs> I'm fine. Great hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're great. awesome. Great. They're great. I just saw those guys the other day. I did their like live stream one. They're so funny. Yeah, they're awesome. Well, so you found out about that. Saw that video, and then I think we've been in the same place a lot, but never really had like a conversation. Yeah, have we ever spoken to each other? I saw you moment? once at some party, mm, and that's uh, always the worst. Yeah, I don't open because it's like, was I blacked out? Definitely. Well, the answer is yes. And yeah. you, you're, <laughs> you were talking with our illustrious friend, Mr. Gravy. This was a while ago. Wow, Young ago. Gravy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There is. Where was this? It was. You want to say it was twenty four K? No! It was twenty four. <laughs> it was twenty four K Colton's <laughs> album release party. Yes, oh God, jackpot. I have to leave, I have to what happened? I'm what happened? No. Oh, no. now the titles. Tiana Mojo walks out Do on Sim Sox podcast. That I just talked about this in my most recent YouTube video. Like I uploaded it today. I talked about this today. Yes, I uploaded a video today. First where of all, I the talk sidekick. About, now this. There's a lot going on. Yeah, what's a happening? Lot of coincidences going on. What's Welcome to our new guest on the that show forever. Was the worst night. Of my life. Oh no. Of start, my entire life. Because, start from the top. Yeah, I remember I walked my, past you. In LA ever. I'm I, so sorry you even walked past me. I walked night. past you and I like <laughs> I like was like, damn, what's up? Cause we had like follow each other, but we had never met. And I was like, oh, time to And I mean, look, lights were on, nobody home. <laughs> Power bill running. <laughs> Power, oh the God. magic bullet blasted and everything. So I, I go out that night and yes. I have a dinner <laughs> with my good friend Josie and we were having dinner and then I ran into my ex's brother and all of his friends and I found out some information that I just physically could not, I couldn't stomach it, I couldn't handle it. Oh, I was about I an was, ex or just in life? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So I decided that at this pregame dinner for this party that night, I would intake... 20 shots like i'm not even kidding you it's the no. most i've ever drank in la okay. ever in my entire life i Quick leave little pre -game. there's this was hollywood fix era you know paparazzi outside yeah, word um i am belligerent and mm -hmm. they're they ask me how do you feel about bryce and addison's breakup i go i hate people i love them i'm with joy <laughs> <Great answer. laughs> that no, no, that's a great non-answer for real <laughs> It's such an Wait, embarrassing what, so what video. So was it again? Let me picture. What was it? Yeah. I hate people that I, lo I love. I people. hate people. I love them. I have no idea what I meant by that. I don't even know. I was like hugging fans outside of Catch crying on paparazzi. <laughs> I was it. with my friend Josie Canseco and they asked me about her dad, Jose Canseco. I go, I'd never met him at the time. They go, Tana, what are your thoughts on Jose Canseco? Whatever. I go, he's my best friend. I fully think they mean Josie. But, <laughs> but I, even like, when you're like blacked out, you're still media trained, which is beautiful. No, this is the most embarrassing video of all time. I promise you when you see it. How it's long like, is the video? The way I'm talking now it's it's probably like five minutes long it's it's oh, just i was gonna say we should yeah we should bring yeah, it yeah, up yeah, but that's, yeah. that's just put it in post i can't fucking yeah, yeah, see yeah. that shit yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have yeah. any comments about josie yeah. canseco's dad of course thing? they're both my best friends but i love but, josie but, and addison i went to that party we were at i like knocked kid Leroy down the stairs <laughs> i broke the the um <laughs> towel rack in the bathroom in yeah, front of like, like a 30 <laughs> people i made out with young gravy in a room full of people i was, I was in that room i saw that happening because me and gravy are really good friends so i was like i was like oh my god i was like matt what's up dude and then as i used to do together and i was like oh okay i was dating someone at the time they oh, then promptly broke up with no. me went and fucked my best friend <laughs> <laughs> what is and it and then i got a gun pulled on me 
Okay, no, 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 no. Hear me out. We gotta slow down. We gotta get somebody from Hulu on the phone. This is a great. Wild. This is a sitcom. I've never told this whole story. Honestly, it is. It is awful. I mean, I was with my friend who's a rapper, Tyler Yahweh. Thank God, and he was like dragging me out of this party. Like, you're going home. You're so embarrassing. This awful. He had like a new girlfriend at the time too, like Pia Mia. She's like this beautiful fucking model, singer, legend, and she's pissed. She's like, why the fuck are you taking this bitch home? But she didn't know we were like great friends. And as we were leaving, I was like beefing with some other rapper and he pulled a gun on me and then Tyler pulled a rapper a gun. pulled a gun on what? you like on me and Tyler I don't I've what? only been recounted this I don't remember this but like I've heard it from several people and then I guess yeah. Tyler pulled a gun back or something it was like I'm a Spider-Man sure. meme they're just like you shoot <laughs> <laughs> you shoot oh my god you said like it's the, the worst thing ever and I thought you were like Right, like I was hung over the next day. Like, this is no. insane. And then the next day, I had an entire group meeting with like all 35 of my friends. Where they were like, okay, you can never act like that again. And I was like, you guys are so right. Touche, seriously. And then that next um, night, you're like, run it back. No, it. I will never act like that again in my life. And then I spent the next couple of weeks trying to get the guy I was dating back. And it was just a mess. Did it happen? Um, yeah. Oh, go. great. There you go. <laughs> Long I mean, he hooked up way. with my best friend. You know, I hooked up with Young Gravy. We were kind of even. We were like, yeah, okay, we yeah, can. Yeah, it was yeah. a st- okay. white flag thrown at it in. Sincerely the worst night of my so, life. I can't believe that's the only time that I've ever That is the first night me. I ever saw you in that's so person. So I never thought about that. That, that night, wholesome. there could have been people who saw me for the first time. Like, I thought about all the people I know that I was saw one. me. I will say that I don't go to a lot of, like, LA, LA parties. That was, like, the first one where I felt like I was, like, and, and you hear us all the time, which is such a stupid thing to say. You're like, it's the internet in real life. But it was, like, every corner, <laughs> you're like, oh, that's a guy that does that on TikTok. Oh, yeah. she does that on that. I've seen her tits on OnlyFans. I mean, everywhere <laughs> you go. I mean, it was, like... I yeah, mean, I heard it was so lit. I I don't were, remember a single thing, wow. and I was dragged out. Like, I mean, that's, thank that's God. How, that's how drunk you were when you don't remember that a gun was pulled. That's one thing that, <laughs> that would pull you out you of a up. blackout. That's the Lord's cocaine right there. I mean, like, you is, should remember this. A gun then, is wild. I, I, did, I needed LA's cocaine in that moment. That's awful. That's an awful <laughs> joke. I didn't. Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah. We'll bleep uh, it and put fentanyl. Uh, <laughs> we'll, bleep it, we'll bleep and put Gatorade. We'll make no, it wholesome. Um, yeah, seriously. But yeah, that was, that was first, a big learning experience. I, for that me. is wild that when you, did you had that moment, it? and yeah. then I saw that, and that brought that. I up. just never thought about how there would be people who, you know, like you, who yeah. saw me for the first. time. I didn't judge it at all. You should have. I, I, did. Fucking I was lying. Yeah, I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. And yeah. Seth was like, do you, do you want her on the podcast? Like, she's problematic. Her December is going to be wild. <laughs> we no. have the same manager. That's so cool. Yes. I love that. Yeah. He's, uh, I have two managers. One, he's like the like, very, two like, managers. God, what's it like being brand safe? Getting two people to go sign you? I can never. Sick. But he's like the one that's like very like, you need a table at this place. I got you. And the other one's like, oh, we have this offer. And I financially think that this would benefit you. But he, the other one's both. fucking like, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's yeah. it's great. It's like the angel and devil on my shoulders. That's awesome. I'm like, should I get a table tonight? I just like, have the yeah. devil. <laughs> I love great. Seth, though. He's incredible. Yeah. No, all great people. But yeah. that's how that came about. Anyways. Yeah. What a so, great first impression. <laughs> so what So what? What did you like learn from that experience <laughs> moving forward in your life? This is getting long, therapeutic. To how? be honest with you, it, just, it, it was really just like, oh, I can never do that again. Like it, it wasn't okay. like this, in, like obviously still drink, have fun, do your thing. It's fine to be drunk and a little embarrassing, but that is, that was like literally of going out. I've been in LA since I, like for eight years. Like yeah. that is the, like that, you just never do that again. It's just that simple. That's your worst night? Yeah. Wow. And I mm. saw you that. Wow. Yeah. And maybe just like process your emotions without 30 shots, you know, mm. just like, it's like unnecessary. Yeah. Did it take you a bit to get there? And you were like, wow, no. fuck this. I woke up the next day and I was Bet. like, well, I never acted like that in my entire life. So it was very much just like, okay, that's not going to happen again. Well, it's, it's nice to find the line though. <laughs> yeah. Most people don't know their line. But you found my line it. is so far before that as well. It's just, it's <laughs> actually crazy. Like it's just, it was, I was just an embarrassment to everything. I'm surprised I recovered from that. Honestly, I'm sorry. I just kicked you. Plan. Playing footsies over here. Is Jeff going to get mad? What's what's going on with Jeff? <laughs> yeah, Jeff. Are you, Jeff are you beating it up Great or what? Jeff One of the hottest guys on He's YouTube. so hot. If him and Harry Jowsey had a child, I mean, it could be Senator tomorrow. It is a... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You could, if, if Jeff had an accent... If, if Jeff had an accent. He's a accent, little New York. He's got a little New York does. in him. I think he leans yeah. into it. First time I met him, he's like, he hello, doesn't. I'm Jeffrey. And I was like, cut this shit. Where's the wife he beater does. t-shirt on? Right. Sincere. So what's going on there? Is it? Uh, we are just best friends, business partners. We Re- have so much trained. fun. Media trained. Very good. Yeah. Yes. We are best what friends. What does business partners mean? 
Um, we're about to start a podcast together. Oh, um, there you go. Yeah, we're so excited. I think we're calling it Friends with Benefits. I'm not sure yet. Oh, because oh, y'all really because you guys friends. Oh, well, I'm thinking like benefits, like friends with benefits. benefits. Do you think that's gonna piss off the BFF people, or how do we feel about them? I mean, there there was frenemies. There's BFF. There's only friends. On. There's a lot of it's a common only friends. word. Is that a, um, only that's Carly fans? and Aaron's podcast. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, I don't know. We're doing that. We're doing a bunch of other shit. I mean, I just Jeff inspires me. I love vlogging with him so much. I feel like I haven't had someone that I like love oh, to I, make content with. I showed with them your New York one on the Man on the Street one. Yeah, yeah so hilarious. So the risky so part, good. hilarious. Thank Very you. Very funny. I showed that to them because we did some Man on the Street stuff a couple weeks ago. And I was like, like edit like that. Like we that, should do one. That, that'd be hilarious. It'd I would be love so to. fun. Right, I Man honestly, on the Street. What's your body count? I'm awful at it. Oh, you asking me? What's your yep. body count? Uh, zero. Seriously, good I answer. just make up a new one every day. Honestly. Yeah, just a yeah. number in your head, like yeah, bingo, B7. Like every guy I date, literally, it's like, you know. But if a guy's asking, are you, you're not saying the truth, are you? <laughs> There's no way. I think that what if, if that a guy, guy is asking, I immediately kind of look down on that he's basing it, like his yeah, worth well, in me yeah. on that. So it's almost like in my mind, I now feel like it's fun to fuck with him. So 100%. I'm either going to tell you 7,000 or four, and then you can figure out. I would prefer 7,000. But I think it's funny to be like, not tell them, and then after you sleep with them, roll over, deep in the voice, get out of menthol, and be like, you were number 9,000, bitch. And just let them, and like, if they react in any way that's not, congratulations, you're a pro, that's yeah. fucked up on their end. 100, I just don't think it really matters. You know what I mean? People like be fucking, and that's yeah. a shirt I'm like. I make. fucked girls that have low body counts and high body count. There's not like a. It's there's literally no difference. Experience? You, know you feel the I experience mean. though? You have to feel the difference of experience. I I guess yeah, difference of experience. But I'm not saying it's not like you're opening their pussy to like a cave. Like that's it's what like, I it's do. It's just it's all the same, you know. Yeah, I have a GoPro on my forehead. Do you that's feel awesome. like if somebody <laughs> <laughs> if somebody does something that's new or extreme, do you think of that as like oh that's hot? You're like oh they've bitten, they know their shit. I, both, I guess, right? Yeah. Hot, no, their shit. I love new and extreme. You know, I'm I'm just always trying to feel something. So yeah. it's good to switch it it's up. Like artichokes. Too. I was like 22, and I was like, this shit's hitting. <laughs> Where was this all my life? You like artichokes? Yeah, I'm out. But you I'm put feet in your mouth. Uh, he's the guy's got a big foot fetish. How foot do you feel fetish? about that? Loves them. I, I'm fine with that. I dated someone with a really big foot fetish. Love I don't it. really think it's like the end of the world. There's what's more your, of you? I think your there's, what's I, your kink? I don't. Your tattooed on I mean. the face. Tattooed on the face. Hundred percent. Just tic tac toe um, on the forehead. Just a I don't know. That I, smells like heroin. I like rough people. Like definitely, like beat my ass a couple times. Not outside of the bedroom, please. But um, right. I don't know. Yeah, foot fetishes are kind of like common. I feel like they're Los more. Angeles. They're more common than what the internet would tell you. Yeah. Well, a lot of them. A lot of people aren't like out about it. I think right because <laughs> they think it's weird. I don't think it's weird. I think it's a very normal, normal. Have thing. you ever sucked a toe? No. Never? I no. I tried. You tried one time. Tried, it, it just didn't. In my head, I'm like, this was in an Adidas two hours ago. Like, yeah, it's kind of crazy to me too, because like, you know, I'm clean. Crazy. I shower. I showered today. I I, I just want to preface this before it gets clipped. Um, but there's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you really do have to preface everything you say when it goes online. <laughs> Sincerely, but I will say there's been some days where it's like someone sucking my toe, and I'm just thinking about like the hot pavement I was walking on barefoot earlier. But today. honestly, to a foot fetish guy, that might do it for him. You know. They're like, oh, how hot was that yeah, pavement? It, it was it marble bit. floors? Oof. It Seasoning. Cooked, it cooks a little bit. Yeah, it's just yeah. like hot. Some it's, flavor. Exactly. Butter. Juice, little, like a, a blackened salmon. Same thing. Yeah. I get it. 360. Uh, yeah. It? I don't even know. Um, well, you're somebody who you have a lot of, I don't know if you know this or not, but you're fucking an entrepreneur. You are out here. You have like how many different ventures and businesses? So many. But it's awesome. And I love that for you. It's so fun. It's so fun. I just, I love it. I really do. Like the shit I've been able to build from just like talking my shit online on YouTube is it's very cool. It's beautiful. Because I've done some things or I try other things, but I, at the end of the day, all I care about is making videos and doing stand-up comedy because like I did merch and I was like, okay, whatever. And then I did like some other stuff, but I feel like you yeah. have like brands on brands and like different stuff in it. Is it just like a, is you and a good team around you or is it everything? I've had, I mean, yes. I mean, a lot of my business ventures, I've had a lot of different teams on different projects and stuff like that. So it is like my, at the end of the day, my decision and yeah. my choice and, you know, but I definitely try to enlist people who are good at whatever it is that I want was to do. Was there one that absolutely like flopped? I had this convention. <laughs> <laughs> How are we not talking? I mean, when was that? I was like, um, that flopped. That was I like, definitely had some flops. But that was like prime. That was like that was like peak YouTube when like sincerely. When was that? 
2018. Please walk me through this. What what is this? Tanacon. It's like Firefest oh, met up with the never, Shane Dawson uh, documentary. Yeah. And had a weird Any fucking time you start a comparison um, with Firefest is not Yeah, common. imagine having to say that all the time. Like I have to really live with so that. What I happened? saw Ja Rule the other day at something and I was like, "Hey, prison." Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how did like was there a lot of backlash on it or you're like for look sure. you're like i'm just a girl trying to do a thing what deservedly so backlash you know what i mean right. so what like was it that was definitely just a fault at enlisting the wrong what was corporation it? Was, team it was to, musical acts it was everything it was um, you yeah it was i mean it was a lot of youtubers very much vidcon-esque this okay. was in my fuck vidcon spy era i held it at the same time oh, as VidCon like, across the oh. street because they weren't showing you love so you're like let me do my own thing yeah basically and then we made amends i went to the the following vidcon after that they're amazing now and shout out them seriously um but it was it was just an awful let us know time. how you really feel about vidcon now they're great shout out jim louderback sorry i oh, said we're... fuck you in that one video seriously uh -oh. we're great <laughs> you now said, uh, <laughs> first government name yeah, sincerely i was i was bad um but it's i mean now it's all do you it's beef all with a lot out. of people or not really yes. or it just not comes into your life more. you used to now i feel like it's like i'm Unless you do some really fucked up shit to like mm. me or someone I love, or it's just like obvious, some like Monty Lopez, something that I'm obviously gonna get. Like I, I was dragged into it honestly, but once I was, I wasn't gonna hold back. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now I'm not really seeking it. I do kind of think it just comes to me. There was a point in my life where it was like, okay, I'm controversial. How can but, I be controversial? Yeah. And now it's but just that like I'm related like, in to video. So if something happened, you're like, all right, turn the camera on, boom, 100%. here's a new video. Then that's how people would like. I said a lot of dumb shit. You on the internet but the years. views we're talking monetization <laughs> baby we're talking barely think about me monetization oh, has never i mean yeah, yeah. and back I, yeah. in the day but when things kind of overturned you know to the new right. monetization so my you, video had ads on it today though i was jacking off oh, to it i was there you stoked go. i mean i've been getting the yellows for a minute now Small to, the, wins, to the point where the youtube lady reached out to me she's like you need to not do these things here your next you video monetize. you're just like praying yes. yeah that's, yeah exactly that, yeah, that so you were on youtube when it was like the peak era of like adsense and all that right yeah when it was like at one point it was definitely like my main source of revenue and it was so sick oh and God. i'll never forget when it like switched but what I'm happened also, again Can walk me i this? think it was something with pewdiepie right he like there was like a big ad on one of his videos and it like kind of i don't remember what it like honestly know. was it there was just a point in time where youtube switched its kind of guidelines for yeah. what can be monetized and anything raunchy could no longer be monetized Word. and i'm okay you know profanity i swear a lot and i say a lot of crazy fucking shit so. but that's why people oftentimes love it because you can say what a lot of people can't yeah, and I, I honestly at that time i could have definitely like cleaned up my act and became like a beauty guru nah. and, when, and honestly maybe i fucking should i'd probably be richer but it also um january it also right <laughs> it also kind of changed my mindset like how else can i now monetize my platform to be able to stay the way that i am in my videos i think so you're doing I kind great. Of force, you know, i think you're doing great and all that stuff thank you quick question for you Mm -hmm. The Monty stuff is just been mm -hmm. blowing my mind because I think so many people are just kind of watching from a sideline. Sorry for the. Do you think he's just leaning into it? Yeah, but I think that There's I mean some truth I'm not I'm no psychologist, but I think it's like we have one very, coming after this. Yeah. Thank God, seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'll stop by seeing them. Yeah. Um, very sad case of just extreme delusional narcissism. You know, yeah. I think everyone in Hollywood is slightly a narcissist. If you turn on a camera and you think, God, what I have to say is more profound yeah, than other course, people, yeah. you might have ten percent narcissism, and that's fine. Me, but. I think that when it's so far gone like that, that you just are so out of touch, it's very sad. I think it's just a very sad situation. I, I yeah. feel so bad for Addison and Sherry, and I really love Sherry. Like, I just, it's sad to see what he's like done. Where do you think this is going? I, th I think he's Hopefully, gonna find Hopefully Addison Jesus. and Sherry are going away from him. I don't know. I think they already did, right? Yeah, like I just, I, I, I don't think, know. I think I for him, he'll hit a point where it's just like, it's kind of like everybody's cycle. It's like the bigger you become, and I'm not saying he's like this massive star, but like a lot of these people, it's like Justin Bieber when he's in his fuckboy phase, then he disappears, and then you find God, and then you're back. It's like this like whole- I would love to see that. Like I think he's gonna wake he up one day with- you know, an OnlyFans IG baddie next to him and be like, wait, I miss my kids. And I would hope that he's going to say that. And she's going to be like, so are we doing Bluestone Lane for breakfast yeah. or where are we going? He's like, I just want to hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sincerely. I don't know. Sincerely, we'll I see. don't know. I've commented on it so much. There's nothing else I know, to say. I, I, this is no, I, go to, honestly, I just, I've just I've said everything you could possibly say about this, and you know, yeah. yeah. So when people like, I don't know, what was there was some clip with you that oh, fucking God. everybody. Nothing good ever kept. starts with that. <laughs> no, nothing what good. was it? It was 
T yes. So when there's some something annoying like that, do you just you had to tell him, Paige? I do <laughs> <my> something. <laughs> Thank you, Paige. Like, <laughs> with something like that, do you just be like, all right, whatever? It's all views and it's all ed- headed towards me. Or do you like something say anything like, on it? Or you just like something like, like that is so fun to me because it's you know I've gone viral in that regard for things that I right. did that were awful and, and that is never that, good. Those are very good you know, growing standpoints when you have a scandal for something awful like that. And it's that big because it's like, you know what I mean? You grow and you learn, you you do better. But something like Team Bryce on God, I, I'm, you just I am my biggest self-deprecator. I laugh at myself 24-7. Yeah. It's truly, it's not like I'm like, ha, <laughs> like I actually genuinely am do, like yeah. that. Like, so it's, it was so funny to me seeing all the people do it. And honest to God, too, it was like free press. I remember Harry Jowsey called saying. me and he was like, how do I get something like this? Like, you're not even doing anything. And <laughs> you're everywhere. And I was like. I you can't plan it, though. You were just, you were what? You are just leaving a restaurant and somebody just happened to get that. And then somebody We was were like, at clip. the fight. I was definitely, uh, or the press conference or something. I was definitely saying crazy shit all day. I'm surprised that that was. That was the one that, that went. Yeah, but I, but I loved it. Yeah. And I was close friends with Bryce at the time as well. So it was just really fun for us to make a bunch of content about it. And just like. That was sick, honestly. You can't pay for that kind of marketing. I and loved we, it. we hammered on that, or that was that was all natural. <laughs> Sober, <laughs> which okay. makes it worse. That's what makes it worse. <laughs> if we were talking the party that we were talking about earlier, and you're coming out, oh you're that drunk, you yeah. said it. Hilarious. This is sober. Sober. Team Bryce on God. I say on God so much. I have to really stop after this too, because then every time you I would say, say it, until your copy pulls you over, you're like, "Here's my license." And I'm <laughs> on, God. on God. I was going you're thirty go, on God. On God, officer. officer. <laughs> I mean, it's on God. You wouldn't lie about it. Since, exactly. I'm just an honest. I wasn't doing forty five minutes twenty five on God. God. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> so what else you got going How on? Embarrassing. Like, what, I feel like we've covered so much business. You got the OF with Harry Jowsey dropping. <laughs> so funny that that's like what my promo. That dropping? Um, I don't know. I'm doing a bunch of stuff this October with Jeff, with Harry, myself. I take October and Halloween so seriously. It's actually, it's it's embarrassing. Why do women love it's Halloween? It's my sport. It's my sport. And my favorite thing ever too is getting these straight men who want nothing to do with it, like Jeff and Harry or whoever <laughs> at the time, and forcing them to yeah. just like go all out with me. It's like, oh my God, it's like sadistic joy for me. Jeff seems like a guy you give him a costume. He's like, I'm not fucking wearing that. That? No, the other night we were Marilyn and JFK and he was like, I was like, wear a suit. And he was like, Tana, it's October 6th. You have me so fucked up. Like, I'll wear the mask. Like, okay, I'll go right. to this fucking TikTok event what with is you it and walk around. But guys want to be so alpha, they won't dress up. Like, I'm not wearing a costume. I am my costume. I think he just, they, I mean, I don't know about all men, but I think he just thinks it's so corny. But I, the rest of our costumes, I kind of tried to pick characters where he would like, because I feel like if he enjoys like being right. what it is, he's yeah. down to kind of get into it. But it's like, he would never be like a doctor and a nurse like he would never be like some oh a matching one no he no matching but not matching you see how far me. you can push it be like you should be the lion from wizard of oz it, it see just, if he pushes it into work. it <laughs> so so you started to celebrate um, october 6th yeah, how many damn early. costumes do i have you like have? 10 every year i'm 10. really crazy about it yeah last year I and had then like you, 10. you rank them like because on yeah. the actual day of Halloween, that's got to be the best fit, right? I'm so fucking excited for it. You probably haven't even said what it's going to be. Gonna be. I'm like not, I can't say it. I take oh it. I, I can't say it. I can't say it. I take it so seriously. I really, I sincerely Can you say do. any of them or like you can't? You just say um, one of them. Uh-oh. She's like Pinocchio. No, uh, I'm like, no. Like as if it's like some big hyped yeah, up. Yeah, it's like, big. shut up, That's going to be the title no, of this episode. I, Tana spills her Halloween yeah, like, costume. Like, <laughs> People would honestly be like, whoa, this is big. She didn't do this last year. I I like the shock factor of it. I like. I mean, I don't know. I just like to try to get in the in the news, the press. It's just fun to me. I love like doing the all the YouTube shit for. I just love Halloween. I don't know. Um, so I'm doing that. Um, I'm releasing a new wine with my company Dizzy. I'm so excited. You guys should come to the launch event in November. Yeah. Do you drink? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I love fucking. That. Love that. You don't look at I'm doing so. I don't have a, I have a cool dog on my dude. sweater, but I drink. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, I'll go down. I want to see. It. I'm doing shots. sober October right now. No. Oh, Interesting. I swear to God. So how uh-huh. many days in are we? Ten. ten. And I don't think I'm ten. I think I'm probably like five. I think I realized so like <laughs> so, how do you feel? So asterisk on this. Yeah. Is so it five days consecutive or like consecutive? I'm gonna go off. the rest of the month, honestly. I do that often. Even like for I Halloween? just yeah, I like no. to take breaks. I like to be able to like test my willpower at all times. I never want to feel like I, whether it's Need a food a thing. thing or whether it's like something I love doing, whether it's literally like a man, like I don't care what it is. I want to take any factor out of my life and just know that I can Do thrive without it. And yeah, and just health wise. That's, like That's I, very I, much, we had Whitney Cummings on here and she said like a lot of the same things. She's like, I am very much my own person. And the, it's like, I don't know. She, she, both of you guys have a very good like, mindset of like this is what i need and this is i'm testing yeah. who i am and so much 
of my life is like partying as kind of work, which is sick. Like, you know what I mean? Like hosting shit yeah. and events and traveling places and show, like just different shit. So it's like, I never want to get in the mindset of like, oh, I need alcohol to like do this. Like you I just, like, you know. You feel like that is like your branding sort of caught up in that. Like people know you from that. So people are like, oh, shot. Like that. So you have to do it for them. It is so bad. Yeah. I, it is so bad. Like when I go out to a party, it's just like every two, like shot, shot. You want right. a bump? You want to smoke a blunt? You yeah, want yeah. this? You want that? And I'm like, I just, I just want a hug. <laughs> like, yeah, I just want a labradoodle. Like, yeah. Like, like, some camel tea. Yeah. Like literally. 14 pumps And when pumpkin. I'm sober, it's so bad too because nobody like believes me whenever I'm right. on well, like my 30 day sober stints all the time. People will be like, no, right, you're girl, not. You're you drink this. Someone spills a drink mm. on me. I'm out. I'm going Because that's home. Well, the thing, your image. Like when that White Claw video came out for me, like I couldn't go like past bar without people just be like walking up be like, fucking there it is, man. <laughs> do, do the thing. So yeah. it's just what people perceive you as. Yeah, it's just, it's a slippery slope for sure. You know what yeah. I mean? Like a lot of people struggle with that, you know, especially if you like don't want to do that and the temptation. Well, you of, go away from it and then yeah. it gets boring because, and then you go back to where it is and you're like, these are, this is what makes me feel at home. Yeah, 100%. And that's where I get. And you have to just like definitely, I, yeah, I just like to remind myself constantly that I don't really. There's also a lot of sadness to that because it's like if that's your character and, and that sort of like brand or character kind of wanes off, then all of a sudden you are that character with no one giving a fuck. And then, you, yeah. you know what I mean? You're the person in the bar hammered and um, I was like, all right. Like slay, queen. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that's why I just try to keep my personality being, you know, I'm always fun and controversial and crazy, whether I'm yeah. drunk or not. Like, I feel like I can still keep up and I just, that's that's my vibe. So you're five days in. I'll shake ass sober. It's fine. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? You'll yeah. shake ass sober. For sure. Well, that's the title of this episode, for Thank sure. Thank you. And on a Forever 21 shirt, of course. Uh, how do you Let's feel? Go. You're five days in. How do you feel? I feel amazing. It's the best feeling. I, I also just have a lot of work this month because- just everything I'm doing and waking up hungover, especially with the all worst. the Halloween partying Over. and working. It's like, I've gotten so, I, like so accustomed to where I can just do it. But like, what does that mean? What does that say about me? You know, if I can just be mm. so hungover and do it and you're just going through the motions and I just feel like when you're sober and you're like, you just enjoy work and life more. And I knew how much I had to do this month and I did not want it to be like October 30th. And I'm like so burnt out, and, like want to die. I want to feel like rested and I crushed it. And So yeah. you prefer sober sex or fucked up sex? That's a great question. Thank you so much. I've done this before. Slay King. Um, a girl that's... calls me King. I'm hard. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like it's like because she didn't put the word short in front of it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm five eight. I love a good short king. Honestly, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah say that slower into the camera. I love a good short. King. There you go. So we know your ideal guy, but what's his ideal height? I, no, his one? ideal height's like six three for well, sure. There we go. So that was pandering. <laughs> that that was what we called done, being my, nice. My last boyfriend of a year and a half was like five nine. So I mean, what about five know. eight? That's fine. There you go. Thank you. It's about personality, pause. you know. Yeah. What about I'm six a personality. Inches? I've dated people who literally look like their face went through a blender because I like their personality. It's there's there's no. It's not about looks for me. Aesthetics are just like a right. a bonus. You know? All right, so we need the answer to the question I just posed you and also <laughs> ideal size. But let's do the Dick first size? one first. Yes, ma'am. No, the heart size. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Wholesome. You know, I'm just such a wholesome girl. I think Fuck. we all are. Um, Sober sex or drunk sex? I think both have different fun, uh, you know, attributes. Yeah. Drunk um, ones, like, hold my hair. You're like, kinky or are you about to puke? Where are we yeah, at? Sincerely, sincerely. Yeah. Dry, also, I feel like drunk sex is crazier. Sober sex is more wholesome and intimate. Right. Uh, well, right. I, well, drunk sex is good because there's less limitations. You could, like, fuck a gargoyle and you're like, it's so fucking hot. But when you're sober, it's like there's more There's more lines. Yeah, 100%. Like, the beer Didn't goggles are definitely a thing. Yeah. I know. I, I resonate with that. My my standards definitely get a little questionable whilst drunk. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't okay, know. so they both they both have they, their they, yeah they their balance positive. out. Okay. Two drunk sex is awful though. A couple months ago, I was like going on dates with this guy, and I was like so excited and like was sincerely like I I like was fucking with him heavy. We would hang out, we'd go on a date, we'd come back, and I'd kiss him. And I'd be like, I just can't. I'm not that kind of girl. I made him wait for like ten fucking dates, Jesus. and on the tenth date, I get like so fucking drunk. He's not drunk. <laughs> we have sex. I don't remember one single thing. I'll tell you and what. I he came quick. I you made him wait ten dates. That I boy mean, he popped was off full quick. Up. But how fucked is that? I can't even tell him. Like, I have to just be like, it was amazing. I don't remember one singular thing. Yeah, but Jeez, a guy's awful. ego, that's all you have to say is, it was. if you say that was amazing, he's like, oh, fuck yeah, I laid it down. I, that's good. Like, if you're watching this, you, you laid it and, down. And um, you guys will take any, like, thing. Like, if the next morning goes, like, I have a headache, you're like, yeah, fucking beat that shit up last night. <laughs> that's why you have a headache. We'll take anything. <laughs> yeah. God, my pinky's a little sore. <laughs> Yeah, probably got fucked Damn. it up last night. <laughs> I got no gas in my car. Yeah, you know why? Yeah. <laughs> Slay that, that gas with that ass, girl. That's Come on, we'll look for incredible. anything. The pollen's making my eyes water. 
bitch, you call my dick Paul and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, call me a bumblebee. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you guys are incredible. <laughs> thank you, um, thank you, thank you. True artist. Ideas, ideal size, he's, and then he's running it back. Oh, the, oh, I'm, ideal I, dick yeah. size. Okay, I, you know, like the vape in your hand. Please say that's yes. That's what I. That's what I was thinking. Please yeah. say yes. <laughs> Works well. Um, Definitely don't edit that out. We're leaving that in. I. That's a thumbnail. Um, but. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> there's yeah. no, there's no, I don't know. Because here's the thing. I was, you know, I was dating this guy, giant, massive horse cock. I thought it was everything I ever needed. It was amazing. We had a great time. And then we broke up and I went back to my ex. No, well, now I'm just saying. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I wasn't going to address anything. I love but you. That is the I love you. funniest thing. <laughs> Ever. I had a girl one time told me, she she goes, you have like a husband penis. And that sits with me today. Well, I was just going to say, it, it it's giving boyfriend dick. Right. But is... boyfriend dick hit more. It hit more, honestly. No, it hit less. Because it's how he fucks. It, no, it's how he fucks. You okay. know, if you like, he, you know, he really, he hits all the boxes. So for me, it was like as much the as one I box, love. Just one box. One box. As much yeah. as probably several. He's honestly a whore. Um, but, Let's go. Um, as much as I loved, you know, horse cock guy. Boyfriend dick guy really so gave him a run you, for his money. What, you and horse cock guy, was it just like kind of a thing or? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's his official title. Did you meet episode. him at a stable or something? Where'd you meet him? Yeah, Saddle Ranch. Hey, uh, well, see, if I get into the nitty gritty. I'm in. I'm into it. Saddle Ranch. If yeah. I get into the nitty gritty of these people and how we met, unfortunately, nah. people will go find them and reach out and then that literally cock shame them. So I think that Your I cock's just, too big. Yeah, your cock's too Oh, small. yeah. What, what uh, is cock So I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it up in there. It could be anything. How did you, do you miss the Saddle Ranch days? That fucking one year, I mean, it was a yeah, what MGK was, was pulling up G Wagon parking on top of the host stand. It was right. electric. I remember there was this one time where I was there and it was just peak saddle ranch. And I was there and Bryce Hall was there, but I wasn't there with Bryce. And at, they had he'd just broken up with Addison. She, her and Dixie came and like spied on him in her like pink Tesla. And, she, and I remember just looking oh, around wow. and I was like, wow, like this is the mecca of LA influencer world right now. I loved it. Yo, you're feeling irrelevant. TikToks are down in views. <sighs> Go get a fucking set of chicken tenders but and a drink at Saddle Ranch. Get before some cotton you know candy it. to soothe the pain. But it was the only thing that was really open during the pandemic, so that just became like the I know. hub. Yeah, that I think Saddle Ranch was definitely accredited to a lot of my super spreader. Um, uh oh. <laughs> like you know when people were calling oh. people super spreaders. Oh yeah. Um, but like, I think going. You to got Saddle the mail too fast, and people were like super spreader. That's fair. I probably did a little more than get the mail too. Hey, know. come on now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought it, I thought it was wholesome, but now you drive past it, it's like sad. There's like but the, the I, TMZ. It went through it just, there. it just went through this hilarious change because it used to be a place where no one would go you just mm -hmm. like it would a place where you'd take like just ask you go in the bull bathroom. riding there drunk on like a monday yeah yeah i honestly going there now is very cliche and it's something so to make fun of this guy the other day was asking me to dinner he's like where do you want me to take you saddle ranch That's i was like hilarious. you're done that like you're yeah. guy for sure yeah. <laughs> no. saddle ranch is a dinner date like no he was just fucking it's with me like you oh, know what oh. i mean uh <laughs> Um, but I, Why I are you up on oh, me? it wasn't a gang. I was just, I was like, I, was, I, it wasn't, I, it wasn't at you. I thought he was being serious. Um, no, no, he, he was, being, he was, hey, like, like, it was like a giant baked pretzel or yeah, something. Like, no, take me to Nobu and swipe your fucking Amex and shut up. Oh, but, um, no, I'm kidding. I'm going no, that was but, not joking. So I still like Saddle Ranch on ironically. Eight? I'll be there. You know? So it's like just, it's the food sad is though good. now it's because they have so many tables that they had out from earlier. Yeah, just like tumbleweeds. Yeah, but <laughs> but it, yeah, exactly. And you feel I like people, it better though, honestly. Well, that, yeah, it I was mean, a good era, but now it's like not chaotic and there's like not a line. But I remember it's I went, camp to go. I went there, there once and there was a massive line to get in, and I was like, "Am I really going to be the guy to test if I'm that? If I can? I was get that in? girl every time. I'm such a kind. But my ego would cry if I walked up front like. Yo, you fucking, you've seen it? And they're like, no, no idea. <laughs> Have you ever had that happen? I had that happen. I talked about it a while ago. I had like the bungo in Santa Monica. I went there one night, just like ran it with a friend. I was like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, no. As much as I make that joke, I actually never try that um, because. You never, you never like, pulled the Honest to God, card? like I feel like that I sound like I'm lying, but I, there's just something about the secondhand embarrassment of like, it's do you off. know yeah. who I I'll am? I'll never do That it again. makes me actually want to fucking kill myself. Like yeah. I, I would rather, I would wait in every line. My friends almost clown me a lot because they're like, just do it. Like use your power. Like, you know what I mean? Like why yeah. would we wait for two hours? When you, but it's like, I will just like, cause obviously it's awesome if it worked, but the, the sheer embarrassment Dude, of like walking in front of a line of people at me, like, do you know who I Yeah, am? the look is better like, 
like, oh, she's in line. What a good person. She's wholesome. But then yeah. the rejection where you got to get back in, in line. In line with all the people. Oh, my God. I would go home. You're making phone calls and non-existent people. Like, get me to the front. It's so fucking embarrassing. But you know who does crush it and never gets turned away is Mike Malak. who will be like, do you know who my fucking best friend is? It's Logan Paul. And they're like, right? This that way, was sir. a really yeah. good Mike impression. <laughs> that was honestly good. Yo, fuck. He I uses it a lot. Um, not, not like, funny, not egregiously. Like, in the correct that, situations. Like, certain places, like, I get it. Like, if it's like a cool restaurant like craig's all packed up he's trying to do something like that yeah i get it but if you use it for like saddle ranch it's just so funny yeah like just go to olive garden like just leave thank you like i just can't chain restaurants thank you oh, back steakhouse take me there Boom what's your favorite onions. chain restaurant chilies i want to get married in a chilies and i'm not even kidding if my I next wedding me- reception is not in a fucking chilies i married the wrong man I'm, that's all I'm wow saying. you say your next one did you were you married before? <laughs> not technically. Oh, the fuck! I did. I, had to, I did just inadvertently say. What my are we next talking about, Jake Paul, the marriage? <sighs> I mean, you that. you were so good at just like being like, "Hey, internet, wake the fuck up, hit send, <laughs> <laughs> news release." You're great at just picking a Monday and be like, "Time to stir up the pot." For sure, it was a very fun era. That was exactly what it was. Time to stir up the pot, and we had a lot of fun doing it. But I don't know. I, I Why don't. Why you say like it was over? Is it over? What is it over? My, no, it's no, but so you, over. This really? is no, 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 not no. Oh. I'm not. I'm not saying specifically that situation. I'm saying the stir of the pot era. Yeah, you said you said oh, it as if like honestly, stir of the pot era was it, over. I mean, I'm always, I guess, inadvertently stirring up the pot, just like how I am and the things I say. Yeah. But I don't think if right now someone was like, "Yo, have this fake wedding with this person that you're kind of real or not real dating and exploit it to the world and live stream it and fucking make yeah. 83 YouTube videos about it, I would probably now say no. But I guess it's also because I've crossed it off the list. So I right. don't know. And did somebody um, pitch that to you or you and Jake were just like, this would be fun? No, if anything, everyone pitched us therapy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were like, no, 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 no. Fake Vegas wedding now. Um, yeah. Very clickable. Let's be yeah. honest. I mean, and very it's fun. Like it was, it was for just a great so fun. YouTube video. It was, it was very fun. For sure. No, I remember somebody like live streamed it and it got like leaked. It was just a, it was a moment. It was, it was, a, it was very, very smart. Loved it. Yeah. <laughs> well, fellas, listen out there. Take her to a Chili's. Is there a favorite thing you like at Chili's? Oh my God, I could go on for days. I, the Top whole three. menu though. The, the spinach queso dip. I know you've had it. <laughs> the, Have I had it? In, I've jerked off with it. And it's the crazy chips, good. The chips are like tissue paper. Like the consistency of that chip. Like, so salty. Fun, it's the never. Worst. I literally looked. For, I can't. For, for the, Chili's chips? Chi- but like, no look at the trash can. They're feeling it. Wrong. <laughs> You're off the podcast. They're so good. <laughs> the chili chips. I just like when they're warm. Nowhere. It feels no, comforting. But it's, it's the texture. It's the way that it feels crumbling in your mouth. I'm sorry. It's, it's this is a brand new for chilies. Yeah, Use yeah. promo code Tana. I know, and they're going to send me like a cease and desist. Like chilies. No, they love you. What, that's what's crazy is I think, you know, I'm not out here trying to be the spokesperson for, you know, Johnson & Johnson products, but don't Whoa. you think that Tana Mojo would be a great face of chilies? We're Let's go. Uh, I honestly yeah. think you would. <laughs> Wait, is no, chilies, just, do they do the $1 margarita or is that Applebee's? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's chilies? Right? Applebee's. Damn, uh, I'm a fake fan. I looked over there, my chain restaurant master. We Damn. we actually do a thing in my friend group. Um, what do we call it? Like chain sisters, chain smokers, yeah, chain smokers. Uh, yeah, yes. that's what it is. Both, right? honestly, chain smoking. You can smoke we go cigarettes to a chain in restaurant. a Chili's. Actually, once a week we try out a new one. You definitely can. A new one. A new chain restaurant. How many new ones are there? Like Not four. Tr- no, I just mean like like you know each week it's a different chain restaurant. How do you feel we about TGI Fridays? Ooh, Uh-oh. long pause. Fuck them. Fuck them. They don't have dolleritas. I these bitches. It, I wouldn't put it up there. Would you? I'm in different. I haven't been in. I think I went there once when my They're dad was going through some food, shit. They're frozen food though. Pop that bitch in the air fryer. Oh. Like they're frozen food from oh, like yeah. that shit. Hits. Like the potato skins. <sighs> you know which one I've never been? I've never been to an Olive Garden. That's insane. I know. What are you saying? Ever in you your entire life? In I know. I'm pissed. No, I just. It's, I feel I sorry for you. You should feel bad for me. I feel bad for myself. Uh, I'm taking well, you. I, yeah. I'm taking Let's you guys to an Olive podcast. Garden. Well, Olive Garden is great. You've you never had an Olive Garden bread No, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. You've never experienced full joy. I know. Yeah. I know. It'll That's make you feel like, good about yourself. Is it better than a brown bread at... Yes. It's better what? than everything wow. in the world. Is it better than a cheddar bay biscuit at Red Lobster? <sighs> yeah, Great girl. Great comparison. <laughs> close. <laughs> close. Close. <laughs> but still, I think better. Like Death Row, I would want like a little Olive Garden breadstick. Fuck you. You're going Olive Fuck Garden breadstick over all the bread in any chain restaurant. I Don't you agree with me? 
Red Lobster. Yes, yeah. ma'am! <laughs> Damn, you gotta fire her. <laughs> Texas Roadhouse, Yard. they got that cinnamon. <laughs> Texas they, Roadhouse. They got, what is it, the, 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 the butter? It's some, just something. Cinnamon? something. There's just know. something so good about it's Texas honey, Roadhouse. It's honey butter. Just sitting yeah, with all the Trumpies, you know what I mean? Just, just eating a honey crawfish butter. Crawfish and hate. Just in that yelling about restaurant. nothing. The grass is too long. Just yelling. Yeah. Fucking Biden. Exactly. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> you get one of those, they'll seat you immediately. They're like, the way it's going to be 47 minutes on a church day, and you're like, look at them and just. Politics is kind of pissed me off. Like, right this way, right this way. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. Anyways, do we have any questions for. Yeah. Uh, we probably have a million. Yeah, we got he a bunch looks of so questions. so professional back there. Yeah, Thank you. yeah Gail yes. was Googling porn yeah. this whole time. 100%. Um, so, what, what we do at the end, uh, we have uh, it's called. Um, an- well, the last one is Anonymous Socks, okay. where they literally just write in, they have anonymous confessions. And then I we do that. sock. Jeff and I do that. Talk. Well, you stole it from us. Well, you and Jeff and do then, a lot of um, <laughs> And then we do sock talk to begin. And it's literally just. Have you guys uh, started advice. recording your podcast yet? I've been co hosting Jeff FM since I stopped doing my podcast. And ah. then we've been like teasing it. Chemistry read vibes, making sure it's what Smart. we want to do. Nice. And Smart. We are, we want to do it. Yeah. Me and him met. And then like two weeks later, like, you want to start a podcast? We did no tests. And then we just <laughs> loved each other. That's, yep. and that's awesome. It that worked you out. Lucked it really out. lucked out. People, yeah. people are like, like, how'd you guys meet? And we say it. And they're like, what's the real answer? Where did you guys meet? Stand up comedy, just like at a random yeah, open yeah. mic years ago, and then we just like had some conversation in like K Town for like three hours. Aren't you on tour right now doing? Yeah, shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I yeah. please come to one? Please, please. I would die. Stand up comedy is like the only reason I haven't killed myself. It's my favorite thing ever. It's amazing. I just got back so from good. Phoenix, and those shows were awesome out there. Wait, that's so fun. I want to come. Yeah, I'll be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Any show, any show, and then I usually just do shows around. Both of us do shows around town on like weeknights and stuff. Like hell yeah, uh, yeah invite me, please, dude. I'll come through. It's my favorite they're, thing. they're honestly super fun. I'll let you know. Cool. All right, well, this is a sock talk. Uh, this is from KS, and they want some advice. They KSI? Say, uh, yes, controversial. No, Hi, just Great yeah. guy. Box them. So they say, uh, I've been thinking a lot about having sex on a staircase. What do you guys think is the best way to do it? Not on a staircase. 100%. I just don't know what thought would go into that. Like, you've been thinking a lot about that. Like, just, just the only do way it. Do you know? Is just fuck on a staircase. Do you know really quickly that there's a staircase fetish? What? To, yes, to fuck while you're going. I swear a to God, maid? to fuck. Look it up. That There's, joke bombed. You, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said a maid. I am lost. Shut up. All a right. maid to clean it. Oh, a maid to clean it. All right. All right. Mm. What do you mean? There's a staircase fetish. Well, if, you, if you know anything about fetishes, I'll, I if trust you, you. There's a staircase. If you if you go down the stairs, is a fetish on going on like literally falling down the stairs. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. Like you fall so, down the stairs and then they it? save you and you get fucked or no, like no, you're no. fucking. Falling downstairs. Gabriel, read it because I think he has his fetish. It's made up. Michael just made this on wikifeet.com. 100%. I'll jerk off. Go ahead, Gabriel. Uh, yeah, it's called uh, climacophobia. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no, no. This is a- uh, shit. That's a fear of stairs. Yeah, that's a fear of stairs. That's so sad. People out there struggling. Philia. Climacophilia <laughs> is yes. being sexually aroused by falling downstairs. So I'm- So like you fall, like I fall down the stairs and I'm like, oh, I broke my shin. I'm so wet. That's like a I don't fucking get life it. alert like, commercial. What are you <laughs> talking about? I've fallen and I can't get up. And then somebody with a sprain and a torn ACL is like, please help me. I really hope there is life alert porn out there. There is. There, I've fallen and I oh. can't get up. I've fallen and I can't Ste- get I've fallen and I can't get up dot 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 step bro blue chew <laughs> Gabe use the internet life alert porn well so really quick use so there's, the internet there's two oh, there's I don't two. give a fuck Gabe google life alert porn <laughs> Gabe's like you know what I what quit what are we doing <laughs> <laughs> oh my god please don't Gabe, quit Gabe need you. please don't quit I love you <laughs> so there's two kinds of this fetish there's yes. you try to make yourself come while you're falling down the stairs so you try to time it out that is yeah. so or quick. you get <laughs> or you get sexually aroused while you watch someone else fall down some stairs. Okay. So you set like a trap or something. So that's I think, funny. I that's think this rude. gentleman that's has mean. that. I think this gentleman Which has one? that. The, the gentleman that just wrote in. The first or the second? Oh, sorry. They want to fuck on sorry. the stairs. Uh, the, uh, watching someone fall down stairs. That's rude. I know. Help them. Yeah, just push your grandma down the stairs. Get the frozen peas. Help them. Yeah, like, so where does that stop? You know, what if like a loved one falls down the stairs? Are they like hard? I mean, you don't have to buy a house <sighs> with like it's a It's like, long... I'll help you. Just give me like a minute or two. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just settle things down. I mean, that's insane. Also, the first one where you like try to get off before you get through the stairs. I know people do it in car washes. They try to have sex or get off before the car wash is done. Y'all are knowledgeable. Horny is the word, I believe. Um, I I could do it. That's fun. The car wash of it all is kind of, that sounds fun. The car wash, yeah. Pretty color. Car wash is because also it's like the curtains are like the foam kind of rinsing away. So you're like, you see when it's coming to an end. The stairs, you're not really paying attention to where you are. You're just falling. Yeah, I don't. I can't get behind the stairs. I'll do it like in New York. Whoever you are out there, I I sincerely hope you get fucked on a staircase soon. Or therapy. That's also a great point. Um, There's also there's no results on Pornhub for Life Alert. 
So, Look, what are you doing later? Make it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Get the Sonys. We're filming the stairs. <laughs> Um, cool. Let's do one more uh, advice question, and then we'll yep. get into the anonymous submission. This is uh, from King Riv, and he says, uh, I've been talking dirty all day with this girl, but she keeps playing around and she won't actually come over. What is going on? Why is she doing it? He's talking Ooh, to a computer-generated good- person. Good. Chill, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Here, can, I, can I? That's a hard one for advice, because it's like, I, I mean, I... Like go assault her, like no, like you know what I mean, like maybe just like wait around, like just see what happens, like it's maybe there's, step your game up. It, I would need there's, to see the text going on. There's something mm-hmm. really hot about living in fantasy land, and then once it becomes real, real yeah. then it then it's scary. But if you if you're te- if you're sexting back and forth, Can you're you like get the ice louder, please. Yeah, one more just, time. yeah, there you go. <laughs> Why does every rapper before the song start? Here's my fucking lean bitch. Listen, <laughs> and I would need to see the text just to see like, is she really putting it out there like flaring back, or is she just thumbs up and text? Like, yeah, for is sure. it like fuck me, daddy? Or no. it's like that yeah, sounds a lot. You know, this, that's where it gets. This seems like fuck me, daddy. Like she's ready to go, and then anytime it becomes real, she's like, well, I I actually have a violin lesson. Like she just wants to do. She just doesn't want to be in real land. Yeah, and I think that's probably what's happening. What if he responds? He's like, let me be that violin bitch. I'm down. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I feel like if I get to the point of like sexing someone, I'm gonna fuck them. You know what I mean? Like I don't really understand. Yeah, maybe that. I would never I like. Maybe she's just testing really her sexed. game. I'm not like out here just sexting all the time. So it's like if we're sexting, that's a lie. I swear. You don't sex a lot. I do if there I'm like go. dating someone or like <laughs> right or like if like I but not a lot either because it's like what's a lot to you. 12 a day? No, oh my God. Like once, maybe once every other week. But you gotta, you gotta believe it. You gotta be in it. That's why I feel like I need to see the text. Yeah. Like, is she giving her bullshit? out of bullshit? town maybe? But if not, like, come on, I don't know. Well, have them, have them write in. I want to see the text. I want to see the back yeah. and forth. Yeah, send it back. Uh, let's see those texts. Also, may, one more thing. Yeah. Maybe that you've lived in the sex land too much. Maybe ask her out. De- develop some like emotional attachment and then you could probably good uh, job sex but and then you can probably uh sex yeah but then you <laughs> do can probably do the sex. sex but like this right here that's like fantasy world she, everyone's getting off in fantasy world you need to make it real first and then fuck take that's her really to Texas advice, Roadhouse yes. socks. good advice yeah. alright anonymous submission um, yeah I hooked up with a girl found out she was my second cousin got drunk did it again good that's it good <laughs> Tana did you write this in after the 24k golden party <laughs> I just know some fun stories attached to that. Not in my, not my personal fun stories. I've never hooked up with any of my cousins. You're I, lying. I, You're from Vegas. <laughs> 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 You're telling the truth about the Vegas so, of it all. But no, I honestly, I know never... people that have been in this. Well, second cousin. Pretty well, second cousin. Who gives a shit? <laughs> there we go. Who cares? He's trying second to stir cousin. I'm not even TMZ. real. If you're telling the truth about not knowing the first time. How do they I don't find know out? That, That's what I want to know. Here's where I would justify it. If you were fucking or dating for like six months and you found out, okay, fine. You've developed that connection, I guess. It's a but weird... But if, if you fucked them one time and you found out they're your cousin, like, maybe just... Bro, second cousin's not even blood related. Fuck they not? them on Thanksgiving. No, no, second cousins are blood related. Yeah, but it's a it's little your... bit of blood. The title sounds <laughs> weird. It's not even a lot wait, wait, of blood. Wait, 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 wait. What's a... It's a weird hill to die on. I'll say that. I'm yeah. dying on it. There's a lot of other it's fish that aren't from your own fishbowl is what I'm trying to say. There's, it's a little bit of blood. What's the connection? It's your... Exactly. Ma- it's, your, it's, exactly. <laughs> the, the, it's a fucking SAT question. <laughs> Fuck uh, your cousin. Who cares? <laughs> please clip that on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, cu- yeah. Frame it in on Michael when he yells out. I got please. no problem yeah. with that. I don't so think it should be legal. The only thing you share if you have if your second cousins is uh, great grandparents. Not real. That's so not even real. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? You're nah, in. Nah, You're in. Nah, well, nah, we're nah, we're nah, we're an hour nah, into the episode. People stop listening. It's like an when hour. he like, we're like, yeah. like your like like great grandparents. You're right. It's not even fucking real. You you make a point there. I don't think I could personally get to that though because I would sincerely be like sucking their dick thinking like this is my cousin like i just but that's not clip that <laughs> <laughs> i just want to know when, when people write in stories about this how do they find out like were they like yeah i went to six flags magic mountain for my fifth year you know and they're like oh my god i went there too and they're like when and then they say it and they're like do you have any photos and like there i am in the background yes and then they're like cool dim the lights sweet home alabama and then you just fucking make out and well, it's truck month, Ford F three fifty. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> here's what I'm thinking. I Beautiful. think they probably knew, and they just didn't care. You, uh, and he's lying, dude, like you, to like 
you justify i was drunk that's like when people do drunk shopping they wear shitty outfits my friend does he goes he'll wear some really risky shit i'm like that looks terrible he's like i was drunk and i bought her on nordstrom I'm like you know how drunk you gotta be and still be you're able just to an put alcoholic in your, with bad style right to put in your cvv code like you were not <laughs> that blacked out if you were able to for use sure. your whole i have phone. a problem with that though drunk ordering things for sure on like amazon but do you like but do you like blame it i was like i was drunk or you're like you see it the next day you're like yeah oh, fuck it whatever i got it i was like pineapple. i was drunk but i was funny you know what i mean right like oh, i just right. bought this little pickle statue that talks and repeats what you say oh, it's like, great. i was hilarious no i'm saying he bought like 600 hundred dollar like rick owens like pants that look like genie pants and i'm like Ugh. Mm, mm, it's that's, just that's not his style you shop right after you come and this is, i'm not even joking no <laughs> i'm a big i'm a big not, then get out to the jams mall what is wrong with you i'm so good hold on i'm gonna get on fashion nova i swear to god I swear to God, they I'm, like, I, I'm like I'm like a post nut. I like come and I take my what? two minutes, two minute like, like I need an air fryer, <laughs> and, then, and then I get on my phone and then I fucking order shit. I buy I'm shit like, when I'm hungover. But what, what what do you mean? You come and then you're just like I don't I need know. Some I, Levi's. It, 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 She's like trying to cuddle and he's like yeah. buying babe not AirPod now. Maxes. Yeah, but it, it's, but it's two for, for it's one for like on the It's for the home. It's like air fryer. Like like oh you know what it is? It's like oh we had such a good connection. Let's buy stuff for the thing. That's not real. I bought a camera. Wow. Even comes already buy a new camera. I did. Like, never what is once, that for? Never once in my life. I think it clear it clears my head. Does it? Yeah, because when you know when you're buying it, your like, head is clear after you know. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. It clears. It's so my weird head to come and be like, I need a camera. <laughs> but it clears my head. She's like, not water. <laughs> No, <laughs> fuck like a water. cigarette, maybe. Yeah, like, nothing. A jewel. You're like, oh god, I need know, a new lens. I was, I was more behind you, almost <laughs> on the cousin fucking. The whole camera post nut is crazy. Clip that. I love it. What's <laughs> up? Post nut. I, really, I don't think I there's don't. a lot of thoughts going on for post nut. I got nut. in trouble for normalizing incest on my podcast once, so I, I don't mean that. Um, I had this girl on who fucks her cousin, and she was talking about it, and that's I was like her like like porn thing yeah oh. and i was like wow that's amazing and all the comments were like no it's not and yeah. i was like you right uh, you right you right rats. she does that for like porn porn or like yeah i'll send it to you on, on like incognito mode i'm not trying to have the feds after me being like incest yeah well i mean we're gonna make life alert porn later so i think you've yeah but it that's all for money so <laughs> and then i'm gonna sell it to everybody who lives in uh you know the elderly homes yeah like, honestly that's kind of awesome I think it would make hit. them feel like you yeah. know they can still do that like, yeah i know you guys don't know how to use an ipad but click here use this face id 100 percent. it's almost philanthropy up. if you think about it like it's a, Dude, we're amazing people for that a lot of nursing homes uh ordering strippers for uh nursing parties. homes yes no way! I saw the Strippers? second one. Well, damn! I saw the if everything else fails, I'm going to be a nursing home stripper now. Oh that would be God. kind of. Are there fun. names like old? They're like and next up, tapioca. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cashmere sweater coming down. Oh That's God! Oh, oh, tapioca, well. you're so funny. <laughs> tapioca, ride this pudding. I'll put the P in you. All right, guys. Oh, hey, I, um, here it is. What a fun episode! This was so good. That was it. Thank you so Unless much. Unless you have anything so else, you, what do you need to plug? What do you got coming up? What do you, what do you, what, what, what? Honestly, not. I feel like you gave me a lot of opportunities to plug shit. I was happy to just be here. You guys are so funny. And wholesome. I love a good podcast where it's not like, tell us, it, like grilling me. Yeah, like yeah. this was the just worse. Any so. interview is like that always. So yeah, let's try to just be yeah, fun. I and love stiff socks. I hope that I can be back on. Clip that. Use it every time. That's our intro. Oh, we'll sell it yeah. as a ringtone. Thank Tana, thank you so much me. coming on. Um, thank you. Next time I'll get a cold foam, cold brew or something. We like it. Perfect. Thank you guys. Bye.